Cortisol is supposed to come down at night and then rise again in the morning. That's why you're supposed to kind of wake up and have this mild fight or flight that gets you out of bed and ready to go. If you're super groggy in the morning, it's probably dysregulated cortisol. But the other telltale sign is you're amped up at night or you wake up because maybe you have to go pee or something and then you're just amped. Even if thoughts aren't coming into your head that are keeping you awake, you're just like, I'm ready to go. I almost want to just start my day. Sometimes you do and then you end up just like the rest of your day is crashed. You're going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but this is like last ditch effort stuff. If you are really struggling with sleep, please try this. It literally is free and it probably will work. The evidence is strong and it's a fundamental thing. I'm not going to dangle the carrot anymore. I'm talking about grounding, okay? And there's no product for me to sell with grounding or anything like that. This is just real fundamental stuff, okay? And I'm going to share the science right out the gate. I'm going to start with a study that was a neonatal study. But hear me out, I know you're not a baby. If you are, you're a really smart baby watching YouTube. That's pretty crazy. But we're gonna get into the sleep studies with adults here in just a minute. But I think this sets the tone properly. So there was a study, and it was published in Neonatology, where they looked at babies that were in these uh, incubators. Extremely high EMF, high, like obviously a lot of electricity buzzing around in there. They were even measuring their skin voltage and yeah, there's a lot going on in there, okay? Sort of like being in like a big city but enveloped just like right around you. So what they did is they used these grounding patches where they essentially grounded the incubators or the babies like to the ground or they didn't. They were testing, would this make a difference? Well, first off, it reduced their skin voltage by 95%. That's wild. But the more important thing is their vagal tone increased 67%, which means that their parasympathetic activity, their parasympathetic activity increased 67%. They went from this buzzing, stressed state, even when they're sleeping as little babies, into a more sympathetic tone. They're, they literally changed their nervous system by connecting them to the earth. We live in such scientific, crazy town all the time, it's real and it's good stuff that we forget about like fundamental stuff. Like when, when you say, oh, we're supposed to be connected to the earth, you're like, oh, you hippie, that's just weird stuff. Uh, it's actually pretty normal when you think about it. Like the earth has a certain hertz to it, 7.83. And when our feet are connected to it, and we're actually connected and we're grounded. We are absorbing some of the negative electrons from that. And yeah, it has anti-inflammatory effects. There's legit science there. But let's talk about from a sleep perspective, okay? Now, I'm going to get to like how you can do this and a strategy. I have a specific strategy that has worked for me. I struggle with sleep for a very long time. Okay, and there's a few things that I did. So before I get into the science on the grounding piece, I'll give you a couple other really quick tips. Saffron works really well, like a low dose saffron before bed. Uh, glycine or collagen works really, really well before bed. Uh, another thing, uh, a good probiotic or fermented food, at least with dinner, I found that my microbiome played a really big role and it probably comes back to that same sort of like biological fundamental stuff. Like we got to take care of our biome, right? So a good quality probiotic. I linked out to the one that I use down below. It's called Seed. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about it. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time explaining it, but if you haven't heard about it, it's very cool technology and it's the only probiotic that I know of that actually publishes their own research. And we're talking lots of studies, not just one. So they are very, very, very legit and very clinically based. So that's the only probiotic I would recommend. That link down below is 25% off. So you can leverage their cool technology. A big thank you to them. They've been a supporter of this channel for a long time. And the big reason being, they made a big impact on my life, which is why I continue to work with them. I don't wanna go without that stuff. It has made a big difference in my sleep and also just in my appetite in general and just how I feel throughout the day. Okay, so in addition to that, obviously magnesium is a really big one. But here's the study on grounding and how I think you could properly implement it. There's going to be a few different ways. So the study was published in the journal Alternative and Complementary Medicine, and it talks specifically about the cortisol. So what they did is they had subjects either be grounded with what was called a grounding pad on their mattress or not. Okay, but it was placebo, so they thought they had one. Okay, and what they did is they measured salivary cortisol at multiple times, sometimes through the night, but most of the time, like 24 hour random periods at four hour intervals for weeks, okay? What they found is not only did the people that had trouble sleeping restore to normal sleep patterns, their nighttime cortisol went down to baseline, went down to normal, and their daytime cortisol over a 24 hour cycle rested into normal range within a very short period of time. We're talking days. 
let alone weeks. So they started having a normal circadian course cortisol pulse. Cortisol was low at night. They started sleeping better. It would rise in the morning. They'd wake up, energized, ready to go. It worked. It actually worked by literally just grounding. And the reason again is simple because we come back to that neonatal study with the vagal tone. It is making people more parasympathetic when they should be parasympathetic. Okay, there's also really strong anti-inflammatory evidence. Okay, like look at this thermal imaging image. This is inflammation with someone before or 30 minutes after just standing barefoot, grounding for a little bit. If that's not woo-woo, I don't know what is, but the science is pretty strong. So I'm a believer because I truly believe that we are not just biochemical, we are bioelectrical. We have a brain, we have a nervous system. Every single nerve pulse, every nerve impulse, every heartbeat has a certain electromagnetic field. And this is legit science. This isn't made up stuff. So of course it would make sense that when we tap into the magnetic field of the earth properly, it might help calibrate things. I just had no idea that it would do this to sleep. So I have no affiliation with any companies, but you could literally search for grounding pads or grounding straps, put them around your bed, and then the rod goes into the ground, the negative on your outlet. So it just plugs right in there or it stakes into the ground. There's other alternatives that are out there. I have zero affiliation with any of the brands like this. I just encourage you to look into these. The other thing is grounding before bed. So before you go to bed, take 10 minutes and go stand in the dirt like a weirdo. Okay, at least it'll be dark out and no one will think that you're a stinky hippie living next to you, right? It's just, you're gonna just go do that. Take the dog out to go to the bathroom and just go barefoot. Literally, that's what I do, okay? I haven't even used these grounding pads because that's all I've had to do. Now, another crazy thing, it's just there are these fringe things that sound wild, but they just make sense. There's some newer evidence coming out on CO2 building up in our rooms when we sleep, right? We exhale, our partner exhales, our dogs exhale. That's a lot of CO2. Now we're seeing studies showing that CO2 is impacting sleep. So what does it come down to? I think human beings were probably designed to sleep realistically on the ground or at least connected to the earth in some way. That would just make logical sense, right? Like we didn't start putting rubber soles on and like living in elevated homes and insulated from the earth until not that long ago, right? But additionally, we're in climate control. So we don't even get fresh air coming in. So we just build CO2, CO2, CO2. But now we're seeing people sleep better with fresh air, with their windows open. Huh, who would have thought that we just live basic. So we don't need to be these like ancestral weirdos, but it's just something that we can tap into these ancestral components that actually make sense. Grounding a little bit, some fresh air. And if you need to do it multiple times throughout the day, you can do that too. But also there's these shoes that have grounding plugs. I remember I first learned about them from Paul Saladino who like them or love them, the thing's legit. They're these shoes that have a grounding plug. So you're grounded when you walk around, not just insulated, hovering above the earth, like staying away from the negative electrons that actually have a benefit. Anyway, bottom line is I know I'm weird. I know I'm crazy sometimes, but this is legit and try it at least as a last ditch effort. I'll see you tomorrow.